They they uh they really got us trained to use that cash machine now, you know, don't they? We're just we're just like chickens in an experiment waiting for that for that pellet to come down the chute. Yeah, you, you see the people at the cash machine. They're just like just you know, waiting for that sound, you know. Ooh. That sound you know Ooh. waiting for waiting for the sound. You know, the sound we're all we're all trained to hear it. You know, that sound that it, you know, it's exciting, you know? Don't you get excited? Ooh. It's coming, it's coming. They're giving me money. <laughs> hey, I got some cash. I'm gonna run down to the ATM. Yeah, I better grab some too. I'll get it for ya. Just give me your card. Yeah, sure? Yeah, just tell me your code. My code? So why didn't you tell her your code? No, no way. No. George, no, 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 no. you're going to marry this woman, most likely. It says very clearly it's for my protection, and I, I don't give out no secrets. So you're taking relationship advice from Chemical Bake now? I mean, wh why does everything gotta be us? You know, is there no me? You know, there's no me left? You know? Is that so selfish? Yeah, actually, that's the definition of selfish. I mean, have you ever given your code to anyone? No one's ever asked. You want it? It's jor -El. Superman's father from Krypton. Of course. Come on, Georgie. You want to tell me? It's eating you up inside. Sing it, sister. No. No, no way am I giving my call to anyone for any reason at all. No. 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 Well, what if my life depended on it? Well, if you're in some situation where some fast cash will save your life, then yeah, I'll give you a code. Uh, uh, uh. What's, what's, what, uh. what's the matter with you like? My, my foot fell asleep. How'd your foot fall asleep? Across my legs. Forgot to alternate. Jerry! Hey, Fred! Hey, Fred. My foot fell asleep. Ah, uh, you're lucky. At least you got something to do. Fred? Uh, you know Elaine. No, it's nice to meet you. Well, I'm out of here. See you guys. Alright, bye. See ya! Did you guys hear that? He said, nice to meet you. So? So, we've met before at Kate Ash's party. We, we talked for like 10 minutes. And he didn't remember you. Where are you going? You just got here. I gotta go talk to him. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, Fred. Yeah? You know, you just said, nice to meet you, but actually we've met before. We have? Yeah, at Katie Ash's party. What's your name again? Elaine. You know, remember our conversation? We talked about how my uncle used to work at the book depository building with Lee Harvey Oswald. Hmm? Not ringing, Not ringing a, bell. a bell. My uncle said to him, the president's been shot. And Oswald winked and said, I'm going to catch him in a movie. Mm, nah. That was right in front of the bathroom door. The bathroom door? I remember someone said he played tic-tac-toe on it in X is 1. They went diagonally from the top of the left and the bottom right. Hey, that sounds great. I love to do some TV commercials. They should be really fun. Uh, okay, all right, bye. Uh, how do you like that? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some TV spots for Leap and Larry's appliance store. That was, that was Leap and Larry. Leap and Larry. Yeah, that's yeah, it. that's why I bought this. It's an emergency band scanner. It picks up everything: fires, harbor patrol, even the police. I'm watching the watchers, Jerry. Uh-oh, we got a big fire on 115th. I tell you, if I do it all over again, I give it up to be a fireman.
Yeah, those civil servants who risked their lives really got him made. Tell you, when I was a kid, all I ever dreamed of was steering the back of a big old hook and ladder. You're lucky they let you drive a car. Oh, no, no. I'm talking West Side Highway at this time of day. That's insane. They're taking head straight to gridlock, those fools. What was that? Whoa. All right, so get a load of this. This guy's first Freddy Yankers remembers everything about that night except for me. Really? I'm surprised. He doesn't meet that many women. What are you saying? Well, what's to be said? He didn't remember you. Yeah, but why? I mean, you know? I know. You know? Yeah, I know. Huh? Look it, you got a new catalog. Yeah, you wrote a good piece on the Himalayan walking shoe. Too good. Now Pete him in so pleased he wants to take me out to dinner tomorrow and you want you want to come with me? Why, why would oh, I want to do please, that? Please, Jerry, please, please, please. I can't I can't sit and tell why you just listen to that guy. Yeah, it sounds like fun. <laughs> I want you to tell me, George. Why? Why is my code so important? Because it's part of our relationship. It's an indication of trust. We're supposed to be able to keep secrets for each other. Well, I'm sure you got you got secrets. For, I don't know about your cycles. Huh? My cycles? Yeah, I, I never know what's going on down there, you know? Well, from now on, I'll, I'll keep you appraised in all my cycles. Please, please. Anything else? We're at a Bosco! How about this? Come on down to Leaping Larry's and you can beat our prices. We'll give you the store. Arr, you know, I always liked your comedy. But don't take six shots. Uh, no, I, I don't. Arr, sorry for keeping you so long, me boy. Again, I apologize. This renovation's killing me. Oh, well, my foot's asleep again. Arr, you know, when I lost me leg in this damn boating accident and I got so upset about these damn prosthetics, I thought I was gonna have to give up the business. But now I'm rejuvenated. Let me show you around the store, me boy. Uh, you know what? I'll be with you in a minute. Uh, 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 that was wait, a great impression. Wait, no, 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 no. You, you don't, you don't understand. Larry. I just came from Leaping Laddies! They're making fun of crippled people! Is that what you sunk to? Oh, I didn't do it on purpose. My foot fell asleep. Oh, your foot fell asleep! You know, the guy the guy has one leg and he calls himself Leaping Larry. You'd think you had more of a sense of humor about it. Well, you just choked yourself right at that commercial, didn't ya? My jumba jumba jumba! Yup. Boy, look at that! That's the fire we was listening to yesterday! Wow, the whole building's burned down. They just gotta know what street to take. You remember that time I got us to Yankee Stadium in rush hour? Fifteen minutes! Of course. It's all up here, Jerry. It's all up here. It's a night! The amazing thing is, you never have any place to go. Yeah, so what are we gonna eat? We're gonna meet Elaine and Peterman at Chinese place. Peterman? You never said anything about Peterman. Well, of course not. Would you have gone? No way! Well, there you go. I don't even know this Peterman. How, how the hell the hell am I gonna relax? You know, I'm gonna be, be up all night. I don't, I don't wanna be on, Jerry. I, I'd much rather be off. Trust me, you're off. <laughs> Oh, hi, Fred. Um, hello? It's Elaine! Oh, yeah, yeah, right. How, how you doing? 
How, how you doing? I'm I'm de I'm depressed. I got this new shirt and the button fell off. Once the button falls off, that's it. I'll never fix it. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some vitamins. I feel depleted. Hmm, I never take them. Cause they make you nauseous, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. You remember? You wanna have, you wanna have dinner tonight? Mmm, the night. What? You got other plans? No, 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 no. It's not that. It's just um. Alright, you're locked in a prison in Turkey and you have your wallet. The only way you can bribe the gobs is to give give me ATM code. Call the embassy. They're closed. Why? Bomb threat. We're in Turkey. Midnight Express, my friend. My card won't work there. They're not on the plus system. Oh, you must be Jerry Seinfeld. Yes, hi, Mr. Peterman. Uh, this is a George Costanza. Jerry Peterman. Well, is Elaine here? Oh, Elaine just called. She won't be joining us. Not to worry. I'll tell her the maitre d. Just, just three, three bulls. What, what, what's, what's going on here? He, he still wants to have dinner with us. Without Elaine? What for? What? He's crazy? We, we gotta get out of here. Come on, weave your web, liar man. I, 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 I got nothing. I'm, I'm blank. George, what's the matter with you? I'm joking! Ah, Mr. Fong, it's been most accommodating, shall we? Actually, you know, I, I just remembered. I promised this comedy club that I'd do a set tonight. I'm so terribly sorry. Oh, I understand. No hard feelings. George and I will miss your company. Fong? I'll be just be two this evening as we dine. I can't believe this. This guy is standing me up. There, tucked into the river's bend was the object of my search, the John Gawa River Market. Fabrics and spices traded under the starlit night sky, and there I discovered a uh, Palomina beer, size seven and a half, though eight and three quarters price, thirty-five dollars. Uh. How about sports? Do you like sports? You know, this is very nice, but I could I could take a cab, really. Ah, nonsense, George. Besides, it gives me a chance to tell you about my latest trip to Burma, where I discovered a very unusual corduroy. Ring, ring. Peterman here. What? Oh no, all right, I'll be right there. It's my mother, she's at death's door. I just pray to God we can make it there in time. I can't believe you blew us off. What were you doing a favor? Favor, no? Well, Fred asked me out. Fred? Yeah, and then he stood me up. I don't get this guy. You see what's going on here? You're attracted to him because he can't remember anything about you. I am? Well, that's sick. Well, that's God's plan. He doesn't really want anybody together. Anyway, how's the dinner? Well, when I heard you weren't coming, I made up an excuse and got the hell out of there. What about Georgie? Nah, he didn't make it. Doctor, how is she? She's too weak to talk, but she'll be happy to hear your voice. Mama, it's me, Chikapapo. I'm here for you, Mama. Uh... 
I'm George Costanza. I'm, I was having dinner with your son. Uh, shake off the dew, my new friend. Yeah, what, what time is it? It's morning. Thanks for seeing me through the night. I'll make us a pot of coffee. Won't, won't, her, won't she hear you? Who? Mama, just talk to her, George. The, the doctor seems to think it helps. I, I really think I should be getting back back to my fan, to my fiance. You know, uh, you know, we had this big fight yesterday, and she just wanted to know my secret code, and I that I couldn't tell her. And you know, the funny thing is, you know, I would really love to tell someone because it's killing me. You know, you wanna? It's uh, it's it's Bosco. You know, like the chocolate syrup. It's, I love that stuff. I poured my milk. It's my favorite drink. Ooh, hoo Boy, is that a relief. B Bosco. Bosco. Oh, she. Bosco. Mama. Go, go quiet. Quiet. It's a secret. Bosco. Bosco. Shut, Bosco. shut up. Shut up. Mama, what are you trying to say? Bosco! Oh. She's gone. Bosco? You know, this whole thing never would have happened if you hadn't bailed me out of that restaurant. Hey, I didn't bail out on you. Well, why, why couldn't you kill me in your excuse, you know? Well, like, why didn't you come up with one of your own? I, f I froze, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm losing it. Oh, come on. Maybe you're just in a slump. No, no, I reached deep down in there and there was nothing. 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 And now Mr. Peterman wants me to go to the Oh, come on, just tell me a code already. What is it? I'm not giving you my code. I bet I can guess it. <laughs> Yeah, right. All right, let's see. Well, we can throw out birthdays immediately. That's too obvious. And no numbers. You're a worried man. Uh, let's go a little deeper. What kind of man are you? Well, you're weak. You're spineless. A man of temptation, but what huh? tempts you? You're a portly fellow. A bit of long in the waistband. Uh, what's your blether? Is it salty snacks you crave? No, 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 no. Yours is a sweet tooth. Get out of here. Oh, you may stray, but you'll always return to your master, the Coco Bean. Uh, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. No, and only the purest no. syrup can satisfy you. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go. If you could, you'd guzzle it by the gallon. Shut up! Routine. Hey, she's shut up! Yes, quick! Now shut up! What was that? What? You checked your watch. Are you are you thinking of bailing on them? I got a date. Oh, Mr. Peterman. When your mama said Bosco, she must have been trying to communicate something. A legacy, a dying wish, perhaps. Uh, you know, mothers say crazy things. My my mother goes bobbling and on like she's a crazy person. Well, Mr. Peterman, you have my deepest sympathies. Unfortunately, I gotta get going. You do. Oh uh, yeah, actually, we both we both do. I I got a personal commitment. Well, personal, I mean, you know, both, 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 uh... Well, what is it? I'm speaking at a women's conference. And, I, and I'm speaking at the, the men's conference. I don't believe that for a minute. Well, Elaine, it was good of you to stop by. My pleasure. Fortunately, I still have George here to help me through this. You know, George, growing up as a boy in Costa Rica, I heard a rumor that Mama had taken a lover. Perhaps Bosco was this man's name. Hey, you want to come down to the fire station with me? 
local fire station? Yeah, I made a map of my shortcuts. I'm gonna rock their world. No, I gotta go down to Leaping Larry's. Oh, so he took you back. Yeah, we straighten it out. All is forgiven. Wow, the important thing is that you, you learned your lesson or something. No, I didn't. Oh, well, Mr. Koima, your little short course is most impressive. Yeah, it's just this up at West Side. I can't wait to get to the village and go to see magic show. Uh, Mr. Kramer, it's just about every week that some brash young hothead comes in here, saunters in, and starts talking about faster routes and snazzy colors for the trucks. What the fuck is? Well, we've fifteen to four just the way they are. Jerry back at League. Anyway, thanks for having me back. I'm sorry about the misunderstanding. Hey, water under the bridge, me boy. Now come on, I never got a chance to show you around the store. Oh, sure. Uh, 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 again? I'll be right there. Ah! Uh, uh, ah! <laughs> Turn, turn. Company 390 Structure Fire at Leapin' Larry's Appliances Warehouse. Leapin' Larry's? That's Uptown! We gotta take Amsterdam! Do you know what it is, Kramer? Uh, are you okay, cowboy? We, we need to go! Sorry about the other night. My mother called and said she couldn't find her pills. I had to go to Brooklyn and help her find her pills. And they were right in the medicine cabinet. Can you believe that? Huh? And the worst part is getting from the subway station to the house. There's no transportation. What am I doing? I want to date with this guy because he doesn't remember me. I'm demented. Listen to him. I could have taken a cab, but my mother saw me pull up in a cab and she started yelling at me. Freddy, what are you taking a cab for? It's so expensive. She's out of her mind. Bosco. 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 There's a big fire down the street! The whole block has gone up in flames! George! Oh, I'm gonna make a left from Broadway! No, I would advise against that! Who is this? It's Kramer! Kramer? What the hell are you doing back there? The Soto's damn but Cosmos got the caboose! Oh, how did it start? Beats me. Arr, where is the fire department? I'm gonna lose me whole store! Kramer, get the hell out of there! You're not trying to operate this equipment! Hey, Kramer! Hey! Arr, try the scanner, see if we can pick up anything. What are you doing, Kramer? You're all over the road! Don't worry, Cap! I can handle it! Kramer? Kramer, you're losing control! Hard right! Hard right! Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Georgia Peter Man and Lady's Great Blap. Look, there's a man in there. Get him out of there. You're in danger. But my sleeve, my sleeve is stuck in the machine. It ain't my card. George, give me your card. Uh, I don't, I don't have my ATM card. George, you're obviously lying. Anyone can see that. Uh, it's uh, jammed. Slide it under the door! Now yeah. give him your code! What? Why? 
The machine won't open without the code. George, George, just give him your code. But, 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 but I, I, George, I, there's I, no time. Tell him your code. Tell him your code. The code. The code. The code. Hi, here's your cast, George. Hmm, thanks. And here's your card back. Anyone for Bosco? Oh my god, look at this. Hmm? It's the new J. Peterman catalog. The Rogue Wallet? That's where he kept his card in this dirty little secret. Short, devious, balding as Costanza killed my mother. The end. What the fuck?